Hey Murdoch. I'm going to give you a little tour of my parents' yard so you can get an idea of the cicada infestation. We begin here in what I'm calling the inactive tree. I'm calling it inactive because it's covered entirely in cicada shells. Uh, the cicadas shed their their uh, their shells, and they just stay sticking on the leaves. And it's the entire tree is just covered in them. And um, there's uh, there also aren't any flying living ones on this tree, so it's much quieter. Um, my theory is they might not like shady areas as much as the sun, because this is a very shady tree. And they just don't seem to like it as much. Now I'm showing you the holes on the ground. So, in 1998, when they were last here, they dropped their eggs into the ground. And now, about two weeks ago, 13 years later, they came back up. And that's where these holes come from. And there, all these holes are underneath every tree. Here's the cicada. Looks like he's almost dead. He's just wiggling his little leg there. Little guy. Yeah, that guy's a goner. Alright, so now I'll take you to the active tree. And the active tree kind of scares the crap out of me. Because they will be flying all over and probably in my hair and coming at me. Alright, so here we go. The active street. It's much louder here. It's most loud enough to hurt my ears. I don't know if you can. I see them flying. I don't know if you can. This isn't the best quality camera. I'm not seeing any mating. There's some more shells. There's a, they just stick to the tree. Yeah, I can throw a rock. And they won't even care. Because they're so sticky. They just stick to the leaves. Okay. That one came at me. Okay, well, I hope you enjoyed your tour. Hope you learned something new about... Okay, bye.